we are going to work on your mind movies. And you are going to work on creating your future. But you will have gotten so far beyond your body and your body being conditioned to sit there without bothering you that when it comes time to dimensionalize an object, your body won't be in the way. And when it comes time to do your mind movie, you won't be preoccupied with your attention. You'll want that experience. And we are going to play the kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope that we fabricated and designed ourselves because Many people, including myself, when we have mystical experiences, we see these geometric patterns. And the best way that I can describe those geometric patterns is with a kaleidoscope. And so we use the kaleidoscope to induce a level of trance. When you stare into those beautiful images, what's going to happen is you're going to stop thinking. And when you're in trance, you're more suggestible to information. And suggestibility is your ability to accept, believe, and surrender to information without analyzing it. And the more suggestible you are, the less analytical you are. The more analytical you are, the less suggestible you are to information. And so we use the trans state from using the kaleidoscope to increase your level of suggestibility and decrease your analysis. So that when you go from the kaleidoscope to your mind movie, you're not going to say, oh, that can't happen to me. It didn't happen last time. Oh, that, no, it's not going to work. You're not going to do that. The critic will be gone. And you'll begin to take that information and encode it right into your subconscious. Just like when you're staring at the television and they're telling you you need a flu shot. <laughs> That's programming. That's why it's called programming. And so then you're going to program your subconscious for your future. And all of that information is going to go in unedited. And you're going to pick that song that's going to give you the inspiration, raise your energy. And as you hear those notes and those words during that song and you're looking at those pictures, you're going to continuously associate those pictures with that part of the song. And your brain is going to begin to map it. And just like when you hear a song on the radio, it reminds you of a time in your life, in college, with a certain person, living a certain place, and that song causes you to associate with a memory. I want our students to remember their future just like they remember their past. Now, isn't that the name of this event? Come on. And would you agree then, biologically, neurologically, genetically? Remembering your future is just like remembering your past, if you believe it enough, and you keep firing and wiring and keep emotionally conditioning. And your body will be aligned to a future. And we will go from the kaleidoscope to your mind movie back to the kaleidoscope, back to your mind movie, going in trance, back and forth, until you can predict and anticipate the next scene in your mind movie. And when you can, then we're going to play the kaleidoscope, and you're going to listen to your music. And your brain is naturally going to remember those scenes. And you're not going to think about it or analyze it, and it's going to begin to program your subconscious and you're going to walk in that meditation as your future from that mind movie. Who knows? You just may start becoming it. 
And as I was telling the group at the follow-up, most people think that they want wealth or they want a new relationship or they want money or they want things or a new job. And they work to get them. But in this work, people realize that it's not about what they get, it's about who they become. It was always that. And they're so happy with themselves when they no longer want it, they usually get it because they already feel like they have it. Isn't that an irony?